Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Lisa Eldridge's latest shade in her Elevated Glow Highlighter line. It is called Pink Moon, and she was kind enough in uh, sending it to me. So I have it right here. I haven't even opened it yet. I wanted to open it with you guys. I have two of the uh, shades from her original release. One is Cosmic Rose and one is Crystal Nebula. Um, she did include this wonderful like info sheet uh, when she sent over Pink Moon. So I'm just going to kind of summarize what I see here. So pricing wise, it's 27 pounds, 38 dollars, 33 euros. You can pick it up at lisaeldridge.com. Of course, I'll link everything down below. Um, I'll also link everything that I have on my face down below as well, um, in case you are interested. But I do have like a full face on except for highlight. We're going to be putting that on together. Um, so key active ingredients, tamarind, indica seed, oat kernel extract, glycerin, and caprolil glycol. And there are five shades in total. In the line. I do not have these uh, two deepest shades here, uh, but like I said, I have Crystal Nebula, Cosmic Rose, and then this is the new one. So let me go ahead and unbox Pink Moon. I'm so excited for this. So here is the packaging, same as uh, the original release. And let me go ahead and do some swatches here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up just in case. But this does have a doe foot applicator. It is really, really, giant it's a giant doe foot applicator so let me go ahead and swatch all three of these shades for you okay so these are pretty thick <laughs> swatches that i have not blended out but i wanted you to be able to see the difference in the shades here so this one is crystal nebula which is the most uh kind of champagne nude kind of shade here is cosmic rose which is the peachiest and here is the newest one this one is pink moon and you can see that there is a really beautiful, light, kind of fleshy pink tinge to it. It's like pink with a hint of peach to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Pink Moon uh, to this cheek right here. And I'm just gonna apply straight from the doe foot applicator. I'm gonna tap three times. And then I'm just gonna blend in with my finger. This has a really a beautiful, light, weightless texture and Three dots is probably plenty. So I'm just gonna take my time here and just blend it in. I'm bringing it down a little bit over my blush and out towards my temples here. But here's that beautiful, beautiful sheen. Ooh, I like this shade. It is definitely the coolest of the three that I just swatched. So if you're looking for something uh, to go with like your pink blushes or your pinky lilac blushes, your cooler toned eye makeup, this is definitely the highlighter to go for. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? Really gives you that, um, to quote Victoria Beckham, that sweaty, sexy, <laughs> sweaty, sexy look. So here is Pink Moon, which is the new one. What I wanted to do was put on Cosmic Rose here, which is the one when I swatched, it was the one in the middle that looked a little bit more peachy. But I think that was the question that I received the most um, was kind of the difference between these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Cosmic Rose here. And I'm gonna do the same thing and just tap this in. While I'm working this one in, I'm really admiring the sheen of this pink moon because I find when you use like cooler toned highlights, you get a really stark kind of silver, bright white kind of uh, metallic sheen to the highlight. But this one has a little, it's not quite as stark. It's not quite as white and silvery. It's cool toned in a really subtle way because I think the pink in here has a little bit of warmth to it. It's not like a super cool toned pink. So it's just not too um, strong. Like you're not gonna get that stripey highlight effect. I mean, I think also the fact that this is a liquid highlight helps with that too. You can really like blend it out. You know, powder highlights tend to be a lot stronger. But here is Cosmic Rose and here is Pink Moon. So I think you can see that this is a touch on the cooler side versus the Cosmic Rose. 
But again, it's not like you see this kind of like silver, almost like grayish kind of streak on your cheek. It's a really beautiful toned down kind of cool tone. And there's Cosmic Rose. So just wanted to apply this for you so you can see, swatch them, and then also do a comparison. So that's it. Quick video today. Just wanted to show you the latest from Lisa Eldridge, which I was so excited about. Please let me know your thoughts, questions down below in the comment section. Again, down below my description box, I'll have all the makeup that I have on my face if you're interested. It's a pretty simple, no makeup makeup look today. Uh, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.